So talk a little bit more about the alkaline uh, type of foods. Uh, what sort of foods are you talking about here and, and does that does that mean stay away from what me, people think is acidic, like a citrus or things like that? Right, right, and that's a great point because some uh, acidic, some fruits we would think that are acidic, like lemons, you know, oranges, limes, for instance, have an alkalinizing effect on our body. So as we digest them, it has a positive um, membrane flux across our cell membranes positive shift. So it's alkalinizing for our body. It's something that's measured when we look at how we're measuring pH. Like, is this, does this have an alkaline effect on our body or an acidic? So while lemon is actually an acidic fruit, it has an alkalinizing effect. So it's an alkalinizing fruit to our body, which is interesting. Meat, alcohol, um, sugar, carbs, grains are all in the acidic realm. So they're acidic to our body. They, they'll create an acidic response. And alkalinizing foods like grains, beet greens are one of the most amazing alkalinizing foods and we throw them away, right? Like you take the beet, throw them away. No, we want to throw the beet away because it's high in sugar or use it in, in very small amounts. It's so potent, so good for us. But eat the greens, eat the beet greens, kale, chard. In the South, we like collards, right? Collard greens, fabulous. Don't add sugar when we're cooking our collard greens. <laughs> it defeats the purpose but things like that are low carb greens. And also for hormonal balance, what's really important is to support hormone detoxification. So to do that, we wanna add cruciferous vegetables, low carbohydrate alkalinizing cruciferous vegetables, and that can really help. 